live here on the gaming odyssey with new super mario bros new part number three we are ready to go we have the lights here that are purple we have the water i think we are ready to go finally we're here after some errors we're gonna get going here this guy's gonna be a very long stream we'll be doing worlds five and six and without further ado, we are finally able to move on. So, last time we finished Sparkling Water, so they're going to go and take these mushrooms to the jungle. But, before we may do so, we have an obstacle in our way, an airship. And everyone, this will be the first airship we encounter in the game. So, in, in most Mario 2D platforms, there's airships that you encounter in your adventure. We have one here called the Mighty Cannon Ship. One thing I've always liked about this game is how you have the sense of adventure. So, for instance, you know, you're going along and then an airship just comes and you really feel the sense that Bowser's after you. And actually, let me turn up the volume real quick. The volume is pretty low here should be good so you can hear that airship soundtrack actually let me turn down like one oh, sorry about this y'all but oh shoot come on okay let me spin so one thing about this airship is you it keeps auto scrolling which you know auto scrolling is a very difficult thing it's been in a lot of mario games but i do like it, it presents a unique challenge so you get the eight red coins. Five. Come on, make a Koopa move. Oh, shoot! Okay, we just jumped right into that one. I forgot when it kicks you off. Do you have to re enter? No, yeah, it presents itself as a level. So, do we have any power ups? We do. Let's just go for the Super Mushroom because we get an Ice Flower. So, the Jungle Dash Airship. I really do like the airship levels. I love the music, the little Bowser face. This is what I feel like has always showcased kind of Nintendo's creativeness. And I hope that we do get a Lego Mario airship set for those who... Let me just test the auto real quick. Um, we've been getting Lego Mario sets and they've been awesome. But we have yet to have an airship, so... I'm just kind of waiting until we really get one, because I think that could be really cool. But yeah, Lego Mario's been nice. You know, as a fan of both, I've been happy when they first announced the line. I thought it would be, you know, like, Peach's Castle, the Final Plaza, kind of model-like sets with minifigures, but we've got more core sets, which I was a bit unsure about, but I do overall like it, and I think it actually fits Mario better than if you just, like, bought Peach's Castle and assembled it, because the core sets are at least creative, and with Lego Mario, I feel like they capture that really well. So, we have a star coin up here. Oh, you, oh, I see. There we go. Got the flag. So, yes, yeah, so you jump on the cannonball there. I think there might be a power up here. There is not. Love the detail here with like the clouds and how the stage moves kind of up and down. It's a very nice environment. And now we are underwater. And we want to have these homing bullet bills or underwater bills. And we also have wind up cheap cheeps, which I kind of forgot about, but those are always pretty neat. All right, the best thing with them is just to move. You can hold down the B button or whatever you used to jump and it kind of like more kind of like paddles you. Oh no, do we have to use one of these to destroy these bricks? No, you can just jump. All right, hurry Mario, get it, get it. Oh no, I thought we could clutch that out and avoid it. We don't, oh well. It's fine, get the ice flower, get the ice flower. No, oh dang it. I got way too greedy there. I, yeah, I should have just kept swimming because I think we were at the end and going to the boss, but... Oh, man, I hate to use one of these, but oh well. Ah, man. 
The boss fight, it's not hard, but you at least want two hits. So we have Acorn Mario underwater score Mario, which granted is a bit weird, but I, I kind of see it. I don't see if it makes it work. All right, so just gonna... It doesn't change how you move. It's just kind of... You kind of just act like normal. So really, Ice Flower is the best option here. Oh, no. Yeah, these kind of like missile things are really hard to avoid. I love, though, the lined up Cheap Cheeps because we have Mecha Koopa, so Mecha Cheap Cheeps. That's neat. Speaking of Lego, I want to get Lego Mecha Koopas. That would be awesome. But yeah, was the boss pipe here? Shoot. No, 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 you don't see me. We still have a bit more. We have some coins here. And we do have the boss fight. So, here's the area. Let's get in. So, we have the first fight with one of my favorite Nintendo characters, Bowser Jr. You usually find him in a Koopa Clown car, but now it's a submarine. So, I will like this fight as he'll kind of fire out these missiles that we've seen in the level. And you have to guide them at him. Now, but touching him does not hurt you, but lining them up can be tedious because Bowser Jr. moves a lot. So then he'll, once he gets hit, he's not too happy. And then he'll send them vertically or horizontally. So they're horizontally, they hit, they move. It's a fight where you have to be very aware. Like, the boss fights in this game, they're not hard, but you just have to be a bit more aware of them. My opinion would just be trying to get over him and kind of, so like, now it's going to be coming to the left, so just trying to get up by him, and he goes right into it. But yeah, touching him doesn't hurt you, so that kind of makes the fight a lot easier. But I like the idea of the water fight. You know, it's pretty neat. This one's easier when they're vertical. They don't hit each other, so they don't change paths halfway through. And one last one should do it. So this is a final wave. Does anything happen? Let's stay over here. Move up. Okay. I think he'll launch two at a time. Yeah, he does. Oh, shoot. Double the ammo to hit him, but that means we could also get hit. Are you kidding me? None hit him. This is more tedious than anything. Oh, shoot. No, no, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Come on. It's the way he moves. There we go, finally! We defeat him. That got a bit kind of scary at the end there. The water drains, and the first airship is done. But Bowser Jr. is still well, and he taunts us and uses the claw to get us out. I will like the claw mechanic. I think I've said this before, but playing through Mario games is like kind of playing just through like a cartoon. I love the over the topness that they have. It's, in my opinion, really great and really kind of fits the kind of just silly nature Nintendo has. And I kind of like this because it gives a sense of adventure. We are making progress. As everyone, we have a whole new world. Not uh, Aladdin, not inspired by that. But we're going to move. As you can hear, we have some new music. What is this? What everyone, it is Ward 5. Soda Jungle. I always love jungle levels in real life, or jungles in real life, and jungle levels in Mario. And this one's cool, but it's a bit of a secret. And the boss fight is my favorite Koopling Iggy Koopa. Ward 5 is probably the longest ward in this game. So let's jump right into it. And as you can see, we have the purple lights here. Because, you know, we have the swamp to deal with and it's purple, so I thought that was a fitting color. And let's get into the first level of Ward 5. Walking around the Tamming Tree. Hey, to Jew, how's it going, man? Jungle of the Giants. So, the whole mini big theme, the whole like small big theme, has always been a, a part of Nintendo levels Super Mario 64, Super Mario Bros. 3, and we have it here. Now, we do have Bubble Yoshi, which is going to make this a lot easier, but it is still a fun gimmick. Let me turn down the volume like one notch. I feel like it's really loud. This is good, so 
I love the way that this ward looks. The trees are big, you kind of have the sun shining in, it looks like a rainforest. And I think we actually might dis ditch Baby Yoshi, because I think you actually need some of the enemies to like hit them and activate stuff, but... This is a pretty fun level, it's one of those levels where I wouldn't call it hard. You just have to make sure you're doing the right stuff. Oh, is there something under there? There is, alright Koopa, do your thing. Is this the right thing? So he's gonna go left, hit it, boom! He's gonna get the Goombas. And now we can go down there and get the Star Coins. So yeah, it's a pretty fun level. I love the music, but yeah, we usually don't have Baby Far Baby Yoshi this far in the game, so that's neat. Oh, uh, didn't we need the Koopa to get the bricks here. Okay, we'll get the checkpoint. And here's what I'm actually gonna do. So, I'm gonna ditch Bubble Baby Yoshi. Or maybe, no, I'm not. What makes me curious is that you see how there's like four, four small bricks over there? Like, if we had a Koopa that activates something, like, can you go in that warp pipe? Hold on. Baby Yoshi, stay there. No! Yeah, okay. So, yeah, so since the checkpoint's right there, I'm just gonna die, and then the Koopa should respawn. I didn't mean to chug baby Yoshi. I, I was trying to put him on the pipe, so that way he could stay, but the kind of bounce hit him. But we've used baby Yoshi a lot, so we'll continue here. But let's go backwards, so... I feel like there's something here. Yeah, see, there's a Koopa, so, like, if we hit him, does that unlock something? Now I'm gonna look pretty ridiculous for doing this. Alright, please. Okay, there is at least something. Might be coins, but hey. It, it is coins, but at least it's something. You know, it's better than nothing, so... You know... This is a walkthrough, it is a let's play. I do want to show you guys stuff, so we did find something here for okay. some extra coins for you. I love the big flowers. I want to continue gliding here. I think one of those is a star. Hold on. Mr. Koopa, let's... You can't pick it up, by the way, when you're, um, when you're, when it's big, you can only hit it, which is kind of neat. There is a star, okay. How's it going? It's going well to you. How are things going with you? Um, okay, there's a second star coin, which we're not going to get. But that's the last one, so where's the second one at? So I think you're supposed to just jump on the Koopa's heads to get it. We missed it somewhere. This level's tricky because there's a lot of open area. Is it one is it one of these? Do you jump up here? No. That's what she said. Hey Iron, how's it going? But yeah, it's going well to do. Uh, after I did the TGO podcast yesterday, which was a lot of fun, I worked out because I wouldn't call myself overweight, but I could be in better shape. I'm just trying to work out, so I did that. Okay, I have no idea where this thing's at. Oh, is it in here? If so, that's not very obvious. It is, wow. Okay, Nintendo. So, we'll come back here to get the last one, but fun level. As we'll finish it up here. As I said, this is probably going to be a longer stream, um, because Ward 5 is very long, and Ward 6 is as well, so this could be several hours, this could be like 3 hours possibly. Well, off to a good start though, you know, we're, we're doing well, we're 14 minutes in, I do want to take my time because yesterday I did have some homework to do, but I completed it, so today I just have time to kind of stream. Can we hit this Koopa? And can we get the, the star coin? 
We can! Alright, that was pretty nice. I like that level a lot. I just love the jungle biomes, personally. I like all the animals and plants, and I like them in Mario games. Alrighty. Getting a quick drink. I love the purple colors here for this stream. Like it just fits with the swamp. So let's go to the second level. Bridge over poison water. So Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, that was a fun level. So we have to deal with this poison stuff, which yikes. So these logs, if you stand on them, you die. See how I'm falling? Is there anything over here? Now, I will say, being Squirrel Mario is going to really help us. And you do actually get a score power-up, so... That's cool. So, this is going to be kind of a bit easier than it usually would be, but still, it's tedious, so... Is there anything under here? There's not? Oh, but there's one to the left. I... Okay. Can you ground pound this? Cannot. So you have to get on this and run. We did it. Oh, wow. I thought I was going to get hit by the Goomba and lose the squirrel power up. And there's a pipe up here. And there's this... How the heck? Hold on. Is there like a P-switch? There is. Okay. So you could fly up there or you, you could hit this. And... Oh, I see. Because it's... Oh, okay, that's kind of neat, so the coins turn into bricks. I always like when Nintendo does this. And can you just throw this down? So I think what you're meant to do is, is to get the bricks, go up there, then throw it down, but... Yeah. So, I was going to talk about E3 today, but since we all talked about it... Um, I guess I'll ask, what, are you guys, what do you guys want to see next from the 2D Mario franchise? It's kind of hard now, because with Super Mario Maker... Oh, jeez. Okay, that... Okay, that was tricky. With Super Mario Maker, I feel like... The 2D games just aren't popular. I feel like the new Super Mario Bros. games people are tired of. I would love to see remasters. Or if Nintendo just went in a completely different direction. How does this work? Oh! No! Oh my... Gosh! No! I messed this up. No, I didn't. Oh! Jeez, that was so tedious. All right, can we just fly to the end here? So the star coins, yeah, you really need the acorn. So you could probably do this level without it. I'll say this, by the end of today's stream, if I still have time, I'll go through this level without the acorn suit, but for now, I think we are done. What I like about the acorn power-up is that's not too overpowered, it's fun. It's nice, but like the Cape Feather, as much as I like it from Super Mario World, it would be too much. But I would love to see a remaster of like Super Mario World, Super Mario Bros. 3, and kind of like HD remakes. That would be really awesome, and people love those games, so. I mean, in terms of a favorite 2D Mario games, you guys can say yours, but I feel like most people, I say Super Mario World, Super Mario Bros. 3. So now Bramble Woods. Bramble's always a cool enemy. They're kind of just these enemies I usually see in Nintendo games that are wacky. The main thing with them is, is that they like to latch onto stuff and climb. And now there's bricks that they're after. Okay. I don't remember that much of this level. There's a pipe. I think you're supposed to hit the Bramble and then jump on it. And now we lost Mario, our Squirrel Mario, so we now have to do that. Dang it. Okay. Okay, let's see if we can time this out. So it goes left. So we need to really be on his right side and jump on him. Alright, I don't know if we can do this, but let's try Mr. Bramble. Miss it. I it's just... The design... It reminds me of something Dr. Seuss with the, like, wacky design. Alright, we're now in here. And there's no power. Or there's no star coin. We get an ice flower, which could be helpful. I guess this will bring me to another question. What's the favorite place you guys have traveled? Um, because, you know, I've talked about jungles and 
when I went to Hawaii a couple of years ago, there was kind of like a jungle thing there, so that's how we got on this conversation, but I mean, I'm always, I always love Disneyland, you know, Legoland is really fun, San Diego, the city in California is great whenever I go there, probably there's something down there. Is there? Okay, um, this was actually not a good idea to freeze him. I feel like there's something here, no little crevice. Reno? That's in California, right? Did you? And we also have these guys who like to stick up their heads. Um, so you get a star, okay. Second one we've seen so far. I'm gonna be careful because we might need a bramble again to jump on it for a star coin, but we'll at least get here. Um boom. Oh jeez. How are you supposed to get that star coin? The heck? Uh Wow, okay, that's one way to do it. He's gonna probably freeze, and we'll just, yeah. Platforms, go, 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 go! Yeah, we missed a star coin, which is fine. Looks like that's an area for a mini mushroom. Did you, you've been to Vegas, right? If so, what do you think of it? I've always wanted to go to Las Vegas, because I love just cool, unique theming. And that's what Vegas has. Um, so yeah, I would, you know, I would love to go with my parents because, you know, it's just great to go with family, but I also love to go there with friends. I feel like that could be a really cool place to go for like a weekend or so, but we complete this level. Oh, it's pretty fun. It's not the easiest to do, but with the correct power-ups, the ice fire really helped us. We're now going to go to the tower already, so getting here pretty quickly, which I didn't think we would get here that fast. But Soda Jungle Dash Tower, Snake Block Tower, so... Soda Jungle Cow is a big, small thing, and we see that here as we have big bricks, and when I have big snake blocks, so... Squirrel Mario is your best option here. And we also have these, oh, these huge Electro things, that... Jeez, so this, I remember this level being really hard. I feel like that we could have some difficulties here. I'm just going to play this very smart and not overthink it. There's a star coin here. Come on. Did you have a fair place in to do? And that's what I've heard. I've heard it's fun for the games and stores. Like, if you go to just to, like, be a tourist and gamble a little bit, you're half fine. It's just some people have gambling addictions, which is serious. I do pray for those people. There's something to the left. Okay. Oh, okay. We got the second one. Okay. So the big and the tiny. We'll go over here and get the checkpoint. So patience is key. Alrighty, so we got two star coins, thankfully. Can we get a third one? I'm just wait. Patience is the big key. I I feel like in games, whenever you have to be patient with something, I'm better. Platforming is a bit hard. That's why I think like War 3, 4, and 2 to an extent were difficult for me because it's more platform. With stuff like this, we just have to be patient. I'm a bit better with this, so it's difficult. Jump. Duck. Jump! Duck, okay. The blue thing I don't care about. Um. Oh, jeez. Keep going. I love the way the snake blocks that I'll go. Yo, what's a play fair place in Vegas to Jimmy? It's just to hear what you say. Duck! I don't care about the coins. I'm not. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Run, 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 run. And we're at the boss door already. So there you are. You get a power up there. And overall, by being patient, it helps. So that was kind of a lot more simpler than I remember. But we have the boss, Boom Boom, for the fifth time. I like Boom Boom. He's a fun character. 
you know, somewhat popular. I just wish we had different boxes for each ward. So, Boom Boom fits the big theme by, well, having some magic applied to him by Kamek and being big. This is kind of easy, because even though he's big, if you have the squirrel suit, you can just stick to the wall, and he has a big hitbox. So he's going to come up, and that's easy. Boom Boom is usually easy, but I found this one to be the easiest. Just stick to the walls, and then he has a big hitbox. So Boom Boom is kind of ridiculously easy. I like this game a lot, but Boom Boom being an easy boss, for me, kind of takes away a bit from this game. But anyways, we'll move on here. Or should we? I maybe want to get the... We'll do the Star Coins at the end. I enjoy, I enjoy New York, New York, the Four Coins in the m, m Store. That's cool. It's neat. Yeah, Vegas seems fun. I would love to go to Italy since I'm Italian. But we now enter kind of a secret world. So if you guys remember, in Super Mario World, the jungle area had a secret area. And that's kind of what we have here in Soda Jungle. We have a bit of a secret area. We have some haunted levels. Still part of Warp 5, it's just a secret area, which I really like. So we have Stoto Jungle Dash Ghost House. Which way, Rablin? The ghost houses are very tedious in this game, and a lot of these haunted levels have secret access, so that's why it said this stream could be longer. As we already have some difficulties here, where to go? Now I do see some stairs up there. What's up here? Uh, I don't know what I'm doing, to be honest. I'm just trying to find secrets. Is this something? It's not. Good to know. Is this something? Okay. So that's the second to top door on the left. It drops us here. We have some booze. Oh! Jeez. Oh! I think there's a star coin here, actually. Do you guys remember NES Remix for the Wii U? It was like, they had NES games where you played them in like, a fun way. I really like those games. I remember the second one released on my birthday. Those were just fun games. Okay, the thing fell. Uh, I guess we'll fall with it. Star coin? Star! Okay. Oh, it fell. Tower Terror Style. So, speaking of Disneyland, we have that. I think we missed a star coin, but we're into the door at the bottom. And we're outside already. Did we just beat this level? Oh, right, we just beat this level. I, I kind of cheated it, because I flew up there, but we got it, so... Uh, yeah. We'll come back to this one. I want to get through a lot of these levels first before doing the secrets. The secret exit to you, this one leads you towards 7, so that's what's at. But we did that one kind of weirdly. Let's go to Painted Swampland. So, I love this level. It is inspired by the famous Vincent Van Gogh painting, Starry Night, and I love it. This is what I like about New Super Mario Bros. U. I just love the, creati the creativeness they have in this game with the level designs. Like, look at this, everyone. I I never liked that ride because, like, the motion in it, but I love the atmosphere in it. And the new Guardians ride, though, seems fine. Pretty fun. But, yeah. Like this, you have the moon, you have the clouds, you have... Like, it just looks so well. The only thing that's kind of unfortunate is this is the only time you... This is the only time you really see the art style in this game. But it is awesome. And also, check all pipes. I love this one. That looks so cool. But speaking of kind of haunted stuff, what's your guys' favorite Luigi's Mansion game? What do you guys think of them? For me, I love the first one. I It's probably my favorite game on the GameCube, which is saying a lot. That, that or Mario Sunshine or Double Dash. Or Wind Waker. I like Wind Waker a lot, but... Love the first one. I feel like you really get the sense of exploration. And it's not a scary game. Like, I didn't have nightmares playing it, but it's a very kind of game that has a good atmosphere. And I, I don't know. I really like that about it. We're going to jump on this. It's going to sink. No, it's not. Okay. 
Second one. Some star, star, reunite. Oh, jeez, I almost fell. No, I did actually fall. <laughs> um, but yeah, I like Dark Moon a good amount. I don't love it, but I like it. I like the 3D feature on the 3DS. It's a fun game overall. I like the first one better. Like, the first Luigi's Mansion kind of just, like, just ambience. So it's very quiet. The second one got a bit more cartoony, and, and I don't love it. I don't... Oh, my gosh. I don't hate it. It's a nice game. Um, I haven't played the third one. I do have it, though. What I might do is, is I actually might stream it on my channel. Because John already did Luigi's Mansion 3 on this channel, so... Oh, jeez, you see my head in the stream. Yikes. I try to duck. And there's no star coins, so we... we wow, we wasted score money for that. Okay, so we have one star coin down. Wait, we didn't have the other one, because I got that after the checkpoint. No. Jeez, there's going to be a lot more. We somehow got that. Wait, what do you guys think of the Luigi Mansion games? They're really great. I love the style for how unique it is. So, the boots in a circle, they usually don't move. They just kind of stay there. So, no more obstacles and moving enemies. Alright. Oh my gosh, we got that? Let me rewatch the stream. Oh my. I can't believe how I got that. How did we get that? Nintendo's being very gracious with the hitbox there, but thank you. I think this is a star. It's an acorn. Oh, nice. We get it back. All right, we're done here. There's a secret exit, which you do. So the two things... Are, oh, by, by the way, look at Bowser with, like, the purple behind him. The things about Ward 5 is that you have to get the secret exits for the two haunted levels in order to move forward, because the regular exit just takes you back to the ghost house also hey john how's it going man is this it this might be a love the background here i just love this style and i think what the secret exit no are we we are so you'll see this is kind of confusing but since we got the secret exit it actually uh, progresses us. If you get the regular exit, it circles back. And we get a mushroom, or a power-up. We get us flying score, which has been very helpful for World 5. So as you'll see, the secret exit we got takes us forward in the adventure. So that's kind of, that's kind of unique. I like that. It's very tedious when you first play the game, but it's neat. Um, before we move on, let's go to World 5-5, Deep Sea Ruins. This one's really tedious, but yeah, we got all the star coins here. I hope things are well, John. Congrats on passing the road test last week. That's very cool. So this one is kind of neat. Like the music, this level is very much like a Donkey Kong game, in my opinion. I do. Th do you swim in this level? You do a bit. Yeah, I think there's a secret somewhere before you enter the pipe. I think that's a secret exit in this level. It's like you have to get a pipe somehow. It's. I like this level's design, but the way it plays out is very tedious. And, yeah. I'm gonna do it. I don't know if I'll get the secret exit, because we are gonna walk the path forward, but I'll try to get... I'm just trying to finish it. Like, yeah, you have to be very slow. You have to... You can't be rushing here. I do like, those seeing the dried cheap cheeps, I guess, in the dark. That is very creepy. And since you're in the dark for a good amount of level, you have to explore everywhere. But yeah, John, Home Survivor's going. We're already at the checkpoint. We have this angler fish looking dude. 
Oh my gosh! Yeah, see, so like I say, you have to look everywhere. Now, these stone guys, I think you hit one of them and they move. Like, I don't know, I just... I don't remember this level just took me a while to try. This reminds me of Finding Nemo, which I asked. What's some of your guys' favorite animated movies? I love Monsters Inc. Toy Story, Finding Nemo. Uh, okay, there's a stock going over there. Well, at least get this one. Move, please. Okay, just press the swim button twice to go faster. That's my advice. Okay. Oh, jeez. Okay, we missed the... Secret... Wait, hold on. What is this? Is this a secret exit? I think it is. So you hit the statue before the pipe. Please let this be it. And it is! Yeah, so that's how you get the secret exit, everyone. You hit the statue to the right before you enter the pipe. So now we've gone both ways of moving forward. Now we can continue. So the plan for the stream is to go through world five and six. And then before the stream ends, I'll come back, get all the star coins and secret exits. But we got both of the secret exits, which means we can move forward. Now we have an enemy map obstacle, as always, the booze. So let's see. We should go here. Didn't mean to do that, but yeah. So we have the boo. Basically, just get an invincibility star, and that's how you get it, Joe. Jeez, no. But did you, how was a Jackbox party? Hope it was fun. Come on. Just have them come towards you, Ghostbusters. Except for the new Ghostbusters movie, Afterlife. This, uh, I think it's like November. So, that was neat. Now, we will go to the, out of this haunted area, which I will do like. It's a neat area, and I adds to the detail of this game. But well, now we're back out here in the actual jungle with two more levels left. Seesaw Bridge, I... We'll try this one without the acorn mushroom. We're almost too eggy. I love these purple lights here for this world. I love the... Purple's my favorite color just in general, so... That's neat, but... Anyways... This level... This one's pretty neat. You have the swamp and enemies to worry about. We do have the Wiggler there, as y'all saw. Probably one of my favorite Mario enemies. We have a nice flower. This one might take a while. There's a warp pipe in here. A lot of things in Soda Jungle, like I said, just take your times. You usually see the warp pipes or secrets. I would say just go get a score, a flying score mushroom, and you'll be good. Oh, jeez. Okay. And we got that one. I'm using the Pro Control. Love the Mario design on it, and it helps. Yeah, what's everyone's favorite animated movies? Could be Pixar, non Pixar, like Shrek, is DreamWorks, but now you can inclu include it. For me, so it's funny, because Shrek 2, I know John loves it with I Need a Hero, but we used to watch that movie all the time at school, like, grade school, junior high, like, if the teacher's like, oh, we need to do something, we would, like, legit watch Shrek 2 for no! Oh, like, I've seen that movie five times, and since I watched it first so much, I didn't like it because it was just overplayed but then um i really like it so shrek 2 is great i like shrek the third as a kid bad movie now shrek 1 is a classic um no oh my gosh we're just okay we get the ice fall twice on this block shrek 4 is fine so i don't know the shrek movies are good they're classics you know the movies you like to watch you know, as a kid, Toy Story, you know, Monsters, Inc., I always loved Monsters, Inc., I always liked Finding Nemo, Inside Out, more recent Pixar movie I really like. Coco was good. Alrighty. 
Yeah, we got it. We've been doing really well here for World 5. Like, I feel like... Yeah, I've gone a couple games over, but we've been hitting a lot of this stuff pretty well. Funny thing is, I haven't played World 5 in this game, like, in detail in a while. I have my own save file doing my free time, but I just kind of get through the levels. How did we do this last time? Let me rewind the stream. How did we get this thing last time? We threw it at a certain angle. So we carried him, and then we... Okay. I see it. So... Uh, this might not work out. This might be tedious. That didn't work out. Ugh. Jeez. Go Penguin Mario. Well, yeah, I mean, you know, so one thing about New Super Mario Bros. which I do kind of respect is that a lot of the pops in New Super Mario Bros. we are not in this one a lot. The Propel Mushroom, you don't see a ton. The Penguin Suit, you barely get. So the fact that we can use it here is really neat. Okay, come on, Penguin Mario, don't fail me now. I hit the jump button. Okay, well, we were, we were doing well for Soda Jungle. Hint war, alright. I didn't want to, but we're busting out the, the acorn. Been going through the sword so smoothly, and now this last all is like, nah, fam. Which is fine, I get that, you know, I've been going through this a bit more quickly. I do want to take my time. But yeah, I hope everyone's doing well. Nice Wednesday. Wednesday's always a nice day in the week, because, like... I usually have stuff due on the weekends for my summer class. I usually like work Thursday, Fridays, and Mondays. So Wednesday's like a nice day to kind of chill out before the rest of the week goes. Alrighty, we got that one. Oh, we don't have the ice file, so we can't freeze the Koopa. But I think what you're supposed to do is... Let's see if I can get this right. So I think you're supposed to get the Koopa and then... Like, glide over here, and then throw it in it, like so. We finally are done with that. We have more of these guys, though. Come on. Come on! Give me a checkpoint game, come on! Is this a star? It's not. Finally a checkpoint. I really like just the backgrounds here in this game. We get another ice flower, okay. We've hit that block three times and got an ice flower. All three times. Is there something down there? I don't think there is. One of these I think might have a secret. We'll just check. Star coin? Yes! Oh no, Nintendo. We got it, it's on the left. So that's kind of hard if you don't have the acorn suit. You just have to guess. Don't like those star coins. They're fun, but they're tedious. All right, we're going to continue here. Finish this level off. I do like the gimmicks of it. It's just not the easiest. Okay, wait for this. This is what I like about the difficult Mario levels. There's some that are like, you see on like, High zones, like you have to use like shell tricks and jumping. I like these levels where you just have to be very careful of what you do, and we get a one up. So let's go to the last level before we take on the castle. We're probably about to do this in under an hour, which surprised me because 
I thought this would take at least an hour, but... Yeah. Alright, the last level here is Soda Jungle. Wiggler Stampede. I remember this one a bit. Love the Wigglers, I love their designs. It's a classic Nintendo. Take something and make it kind of cool and wacky. So this one is, you basically have a Wiggler as your pal. He can help you with certain jumps. He can also take you places, so you just have to be really fast. So like here, he goes back and forth, wait till he gets to the Star Coin. And then, when he gets there, jump on another. Squirrel Mario actually might not help because sometimes it gives us an extra jump than we need, but... It also refreshes the gliding ability, so... Neat gimmick here. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Are you starkling, really? I want this area being tedious. You have to, like, hurry up. There's a star coin somewhere. Yeah, this... Give me the P-Switch! Oh! No! Okay, well, fine. What are these... Okay. And we get an acorn, so the game gives you an acorn for this level, which is kind of good, I can see that. I feel like we're missing something. Let's go up here. Watch me an ice flow. No, it's not no. Can we get a one-up? Cool. Okay. What's up here? I'm just trying to... Okay, so you have to jump on this wiggler. Is it going to come up? That's the last one. I feel like we definitely missed one with the whole P-Switch stuff. So yeah, this is a fun level. I like the gimmick. And overall, everyone, that's going to do it for War 5 in terms of levels. We flew past these, no pun intended, but yeah, the score of Mario made it easy. But a lot of War 5 doesn't have a ton of enemies. The Wigglers are pretty easy to avoid. The Brambles are kind of annoying. But as long as you have the power you'll be fine. Like, War 3 and 4 was more difficult because I'm not the best at swimming levels. And plus you have a lot more enemies with fish. And then with the ice, you have the ice mechanics. Here though, it's a lot more platforming and patience. And we move on to the castle. So, Eggy Koopa, my favorite Koopaling. And here's his castle. Eggy's Volcanic Castle. I like how each airship has a personality. Like if you see here, like Iggy's is really fast. Roy's in World 6 is kind of slow. Ludwig's is kind of mischievous. I really like that and it makes the game feel more expensive. Alrighty. I remember this one giving me some troubles. So let's see if we can beat it. So basically this lava goes up and down and it comes in waves. Now the thing about this is that there are sometimes star coins and again War 5 is big on patience and waiting. And that's how this castle operates. So just wait. You, oh my gosh. This one's kind of hard because the lava is... Kind of... It can be tricky to avoid. It's a lot of timing. The star coins, remember, you have to wait. Because sometimes there'll be one in the lower air. Like right there. So you have to time this out perfectly. I mean, like, how are you supposed to do that game? Like, get there, but then the lava is in. Are you supposed to get, like, an ice flower and throw, like, a... Dremble! Oh! That's how you're supposed to do it. Okay, that's hard. Alright, we'll continue here. Uh, I like this castle. I wish I had more themes in the background for jungle, like, maybe vines growing out. I don't know. I feel like sometimes it's a bit underwhelming with its theme. Pipe. Yes. How? Oh, so. We're. Hold on. Hold on. Are we missing something here? Yeah. Oh, wait, 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 wait. wait. No, 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 no. no. Oh, yeah. Help me, help me, help me, help me, help me. No. No. Oh, my goodness. Turn into Mickey Mouse there for a second. 
Is it this pipe? Yeah, so it's the right pipe. I think there's a star coin that comes down. It does. That's cool. Alrighty. But yeah, what have you guys been thinking of this Let's Play? Let me know. I'm up to here. You know. Have I been muted? Wait, can you guys still hear me? You know. Audio works. But yeah, just let me know what you all think of this. You know. I know the camera quality is not the best, but I try, you know, to give you the best presentation I can. Um, I think streaming is way better because for me, like if this was recorded, it would probably be like three parts. Now we can do it in like a quick time. And there's a warp pipe I'm gonna have to ground pound there. I'll just fall fast. That was not, I know I didn't have I know I have score mario, but still, can we glide? I know that this seems easier with score mario, but I'll, at the end of the stream, I'll go back and do this just with regular mario. I mean, what are you saying? Yes, you're the good quality. We are gonna change power up, so I wanna go fire flower for Iggy, so I love. Nice, thank you. I try, but I like this. So Iggy comes, and look at this background, like the orange. Seeing the canopy of the rainforest. Looks really neat. The sunset, very Donkey Kong Country like. Let's go into face Iggy. So, yeah, Iggy's my favorite cool point. I don't know why. When I was a little kid, I was kind of a nerd. And Iggy kind of looks like a nerd, but I love his design: the green, the purple. He's just kind of like a cartoon, which I don't know is neat. So this is kind of a different boss fight. So usually Iggy has a chain chomps, but he'll spit out three wands. Two of his greens can hit you. The orange one kind of erupts these monsters which were from Super Mario Galaxy 2. So it is kind of a difficult fight. You have to be really quick to hit them. And yeah, whenever the lava comes in, they're not like you just have to be careful. He's down there, let's give him his own taste, his own medicine with the fire flower. Yeah, in game like Super Mario Bros. 3 and Super Mario World is like blue and purple, so I do like the green design. Usually the jungle boss, which makes sense, because he's green. Jungles are green. Come on. No, 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 no. There we go. Not so fast, Mr. Koopa. Not so fast. Please? Help. I think he's going to come out. Can we hit him? No. He does. Oh, let's go. And that's the boss. I like that environment of, like, the spikes and this stuff. Kind of looks like he was like experimenting with the lava. How did we even hit him? I th I jumped trying to avoid him and I think he jumped. It is. It is my favorite clip one, John. And we are done with World 5, everyone. We still have some star coins, but that was quick. We did it in under an hour. So we are now on towards 6. Which is a very interesting area. I'm kind of neutral on this one. But we go to the rocks. Uh, rock candy mines. So this is the rock world. And I feel like a fitting theme for this is going to be white. Because we're kind of getting up there in the rocks. And with the way the line goes, it kind of looks red. And kind of looks red, so... There we go. Also, John, that is... Yeah, so this world is kind of tedious. I like it. Let's go to the first one, Fuzzy Clifftop. But yeah, how, how you doing, John? Also, welcome back to Jew. Oh, this level. I do not remember a lot of this world, to be honest. But I do think we get Yoshi, because I see a Yoshi fruit. Maybe? So wait, John, do you have your... What's the road test? Is that like the permit test? Like, do you have your license? You're alright? That's good. I'm not gonna waste Yoshi's life to get a fruit. Can you jump on fuzzies with Yoshi? You can! I never knew that. Alrighty, well... That's neat. But yeah, I like this world. I like kind of the... Cliff... 
looking areas. I don't know. It's just overall a really nice world. Glad to hearing good. I, I hope it's the one. Oh, you did. So you do have your license. How, how does it feel? This question is for John, but to June Iron and whoever else is here, you also can say stuff. But I hope, man, the 76ers pull this series out. The game Monday night was not very promising with the way MB was playing late. I know he was injured, but he's a superstar guy. So there's a war pipe down here. I think there's a star coin. So yeah, it's cool to have Yoshi. You don't see Lo Yoshi a ton in this game. It's cool, I guess, I'm very much gotcha. So yeah, you don't use Yoshi a whole lot um, in this game. He's only in a couple levels, so it is cool though for this one. He's in Ward 1, I think. Is he in Ward 2? He's in Ward 3, the water one. He's in 6, and I think he's in the level 1, 7. So, he's kind of in most levels. And we get another Yoshi egg if you've lost it. Does this freeze people or does? The thing is, like, if the 76ers win, I think they could ever beat who was ever in the, conf the Eastern Conference Finals. Because, like... I think they can outscore. Let's just hold on. Can we get the ice ball here and spit at these guys and freeze them. Oh, jeez. Oh, that's how you do it. That's cool. Cause like the Bucks have a good defense with Giannis, but the offense is kind of questionable from what I've heard and. You kind of see it. So I think Philly could outscore them. And if the Nets, I mean, it's just kind of Kevin Durant, who is great, but it's only, it's kind of a one man team, so. I don't know, what are you guys' predictions for the finals? I think the Suns could go places. I'm not just saying that because I have bias. Like, they're, Chris Paul's great. Devin Booker's playing good. I'm just starting to get more into basketball. Football will and is going to be my main sport. But basketball is creeping up. I've always kind of liked it. But now with the playoffs and I have teams I'm interested in. The dual towers I like. That. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be honest in the series, right, did you? But then now that Katie ain't no LeBron. And that is true. I mean, he's a great scorer, but he is no LeBron. I, like, I, I do agree, John. Katie is a bit overhyped. I would have him on uh, top five. So one gimmick here in World 6 is these switches. You hit the red ones and the blue ones. It is cool. Um, Let's go into the pork puffer falls. Oh, it's like porcupine, but it's a fish. I just got that name. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. I... Oh my goodness. So this one's kind of cool because it's like half water, half not, which I do like. Is that Stark one over here? And B playing? Yeah, he did. I know he was injured, but still, it's not an excuse. Missing easy. Yeah. Get on this three. Yeah, I'll shoot. Oh. Oh, jeez. There's a Stark one down here. No, there's not. Wait, what? Calls a bunch. Wait, oh, wait, oh, jeez, I died. I was running in the channel. What does it say? LeBanon. <laughs> I actually got It reminds me of that Divine when the kid was saying, like, LeBron James or whatever. It's, it's kind of, it's kind of stupid, but funny. I mean, if Ben's, if Ben's, Ben Simmons is like, he's a great defender. Shooting, uh, you know, <laughs> Yeah, I, I feel like we could beat the Nets because they're injured. Even though I do like, you know, KD. I, I, I feel like KD's a great player, 
But I just feel like that him like doing these things where he goes crazy and carries a team. I just feel like that's not going to fly against Philly because Philly has a defense. He also has the offense. So, I don't know. I feel like Philly could do well. Oh, wait, wait what? What? The? Oh, 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 that's cool. Did I remember? I mean, oh my gosh. Yeah, I'll, I'm not using this as an excuse, but Ward 6 is pretty difficult, and I haven't played in a while, so. Oh, gee. They just have to stop forcing plays. Yeah, that's my thing. Whenever you try to feed someone the ball, even if they're a star, I don't like it. Stars are great because they do stuff without having to force them to, you know, like. A player should be great because they impact the game no matter what. Can't stop training, I don't know, man. Who are we talking about? Yeah, but... True. I mean, Trey Young is great, but he's not on KD. Oh! That worked. Are you supposed to get a Koopa? How's a Koopa dance on the water? What the heck? Tiju, what are your thoughts? on the NBA playoffs. I'm excited to see whoever the Suns play. I feel like that both the... The thing about the Suns is that they look great in the Nuggets. They swept them. You know, things were kind of scary there at the end. They swept them. They won. They're going to be well-rested, and they're going to be going up against a team with the Jazz or Clippers who's going to be very, very not rested. They're going to be very tired and wiped out. So... I don't know. I feel like the Suns could go to the NBA Finals and maybe win it. You heard it here, but that's my prediction. If they play the Hawks, I think that the Suns beat the Hawks in four. I do like Trey Young. He is extremely talented. And he can be good and he can do a lot of stuff himself. That is true. Oh, that's cool. The block says so you can get the fish. But... I, I feel like that the Suns are just way better at scoring with Chris Paul, Devin Booker, and they have the defense there. Jazz would be... Jazz would be... Uh, and, oh, okay, so you have the Hawks. If they were to go to the NBA Finals, the 76ers would be close. I do feel like, though, that... Um, get in there. I feel like that... So yeah, 76ers, or Suns, Hawks, Suns would win. Suns, 76ers, I legitimately think would be close. I feel like, oh, geez, should I even mess around getting this? How am I supposed to get here? Just finish a level. I, I feel like it would be close. I would probably go Suns over Philly. But, I or Bucks. Suns, that would be cool to see the defense. I think it would be a very game six series because I think the Bucks, like, I think Phoenix would win the first two. Then I think Milwaukee's defense would step up, win a gamer, maybe, uh, and then keep another one close. I think the Suns would win out. Nets, like John said, Katie ain't no LeBron. Katie would make cool plays, but I don't think it's enough. And then, um, yeah. So, anyways, that's my thoughts on that. Don't have a power. I require. Oh, really? I didn't know he was out. Oh, jeez. That's. Oh no. I hope he's okay. I like Kawhi. I don't like the Clippers, but I like Kawhi. Not a Clippers guy. Come on. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're going. John, do you think Philly's gonna win this series? Oh, we got Mini Mario. The first time in this game. He's used for like a lot of secrets. I don't know how you usually get him, but we have him here. So Mini Mario takes when he's dead, but I think he can run up walls. 
I I remember this level. This level is very tedious. Why at the tower? Now world six is long. This is probably gonna be a long rest of the stream. I think you can run up walls. Am I mistaken? Shoot. No. No, get up there. Jump? Because you have a little spin. No. Jeez, that was frustrating. Oh, you gotta be Run, 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 run! We got it. And star coin time, everyone. Not to play like that. Yeah, I don't. Know. I could honestly see the sun or seeing the Hawks win the series. I like Philly. I love them. I hope they, you know, win it all this year. But I legitimately feel like that. John, you know what like Embiid has? I know he's injured. I don't know what he has. I feel like that the Hawks have momentum. I think the Hawks win. I think that game on Monday really determined it because it would not have won them the series, but I feel like that would have helped Philly. I don't know now. I think Philly will win the next game because they're passionate, but then I think the Hawks take it. I think we could see a game seven. A shout out to Trey Young. I mean, he is just playing great. So, I mean, I like the Hawks. I'm not like a fan of them. But Trey Young is fun to watch. He seems like a great young guy, so happy for him. But at this level, so I haven't been talking about the game. I don't have a lot to say about World 6. Uh, you know, just use Mini Mario carefully. You could be of regular size Mario, but you don't get the secrets. I don't know if you need Mini Mario for anything else in the level, so we might be good here in case we do get hit. Come on. Come on. Yes! There's a. Oh, you gotta be kidding me, Nintendo. Okay. Go up here. We're not time this perfectly. I might have been too. Okay. Go, 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 go. Go! Go! Oh, jeez. You can't. Okay, what did the juice say? I didn't have the Suns being the Lakers this year, but maybe the Suns can finally do it. You can't want walls that you can. Call them this guy or something like that. Yeah, okay. This is. Tedious. I need to jump. 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 Jump! Oh, jeez. He didn't jump at first. I was like, ah. Oh. Yeah, I was like one of the one people who had the Suns, the Lakers, losing to Phoenix. Well, what's... Is this a secret exit? I know it's a secret exit in World 6, but we got it. Wow, okay, now I am gonna beat the boss here, but yeah, it shows you how much I know or don't know of World 6. Tadrew, who's your NBA team? You're a Sacramento Kings fan, right? What is having like good success here? So, that leads us to that. So there's just a lot of secrets here, but let's just try this off many more. If we die, we'll go back to the tower, but Rock Candy Mines at 6. The only Spine Coaster. I forgot that there's, like, stuff here to be, like, that's cool. All right, so we have the Bone Coaster. I would love to see a Lego set of this, speaking of the Lego stuff, but basically it's a roller coaster and you're on it. Here we go, everyone. Whee! This one's hard because you do dip into poison, so you gotta really time your jumps. Star coin. Oh, jeez. Oh, just swooper bats are real kind of annoying here. This is like a legit little ghoster! Mini Mario has like a bit of a like jump, and you can move him, which kind of helps, kind of doesn't, so. What's up here? Give me something. Star coin? Um, I'm gonna die here? Okay, that's just coins, I guess. All right, even though the king sucked, thanks. Well, they don't have a high pick, right? So they can try rebuilding. Jump. 
This is terrifying. There's like a star coin coming up here. You have to jump in the door. Oh, we passed one. It's fine. I just want to beat the level. What's your guys' favorite type of theme park rides? This is like, my hands are sweating. This is fun. Oh, no, oh, jump. It's okay. We go. No, no, don't fall. Jeez. Oh my goodness. That was more stressful than it should have been. And we, oh, okay, yeah, okay. So I think what happens here is you get a star and you run to get the star coin. I remember this. I know I had so much issues with this as a kid. Let's try now. What? Isn't there a star power up you get? Like, who do, like, kings have like that? Do they have any, like, good players? What the heck? Alright, we beat the level. How do you get this? Is this... Oh, I think I remember. I think there's a star power-up in, like, before you exit the level. Like, remember before we went to Pipe to lead us out? I think there's a star, an invincibility box here. We get a star and have to run. We beat the level, though, everyone. So this is kind of a secret here. What do you guys think about um, football this year? Like, what, what do you guys think of the Julio Jones trade? Okay. We got that done. So that basically takes you all the way from here to basically the next tower. So you basically skip about three levels. Let's go back here to the tower and get the Rygar exit. That was a fun detour, you know. My heart pace was going fast. The thing about the 76 is, uh, Joel and Bede's younger, right? Or he's like 27 or something, right, John? So even if the like 76ers don't win it all this year, Ben Simmons is still young. Happy, yeah, same. Oh no, oh, did you? Why? I respect your decision, but why though? It's like the same game over and over again. Well, good luck. Never heard of him. Why do you get mad at him? I respect your decision, but I'm, I'm interested to hear why. Isn't the Madden cover getting revealed like tomorrow? Also, I am John. To you all can answer this. How's Jets been? Because I know people like complain about him and John's server. I'm just not on Discord a ton, so I don't really talk to Jets. So I don't know. But yeah. Brady Mahomes on it. I... I love the two-person cover when they did Larry and Troy Palmolo. I would... The thing about that is we've already had those two people, John. So, like, what do you mean? Like, that would be me, like, a young and old goat. But we've already had Mahomes, like, two games ago. And we've already had Brady. Yeah, it was, he was a patriot, but still. Stupid as usual. Yeah. Oh, sorry to hear that. How's your V3? Like, I don't know. Jets, I don't get why he's in the server, but I don't know. Not a big issue. For me, we don't really need Mario, mini Mario for this stage. I just want to I just want to play as him because I, I just want to play as him because we haven't had him a lot in this series. So I just want to show it off. That's my main thing too. I want to just take time off the levels, but pretty fun level here. What else can get with NFL game? It sucks. There's no competition with man. It does suck to Jew. Well, I hope you enjoy Man 22 to Jew. To Jew, you should call the series to Jew 22 plays Man in 22. So now Boom Boom flies, which just gets banned and come back. Have Derrick Henry and some older running back. I like when my Kel says after the fight. So this one's kind of hard because he swoops down. With Mini Mario, you have to ground pound a boss's head because 
But force enough doesn't do it, so you have to like ground pound their heads in order to win. This might be kind of difficult. The first boom boom fight that we've had issues with. Oh, jeez. Okay, yeah, we'll just be a normal Mario. I think people react to what Jess says sometimes. I agree and disagree. The thing with Jess is, I just feel like whatever he says something, I don't know if he's being serious or trolling, but yeah. I can see how it gets on people's nerves. So what my opinion would be for the Madden cover is to have Derrick Henry and to have Aaron Donald. I don't think Aaron Donald's been on a Madden cover because Aaron Donald and Derrick Henry, I mean, Aaron Donald stops the run. Derrick Henry's a running back because, like, the whole Troy Palmolu, Larry Fitzgerald cover was great because Troy Palmolu is a safety and he covers wide receivers like Larry Fitzgerald. So that cover made sense, like, three, four years ago. You know? So, like, to have Aaron Donald and Derrick Henry would make sense, because, you know, it would be like Aaron Donald stopping the run against Derrick Henry. Like, that would be cool. I, mean, I think the Rams and Titans play each other this year. They, they do, so that would make sense. Come on. All right, let's get Boom Boom. Here's our power up. We got a fire flower. Okay, let's go. Only reason to get is an updated roster, but I understand why people hate the Madden games year after year. Yeah, I hope, I, there's been rumors that it might be better this year, so. I don't blame you to Jude to forgetting him. Alrighty, Boom Boom. So we've actually died to Boom Boom in this series. Can we just fire flower him? No, you can't. Yeah, like, I would say, this, Ward 6, starting with Ward 6 and continuing, the game gets kind of a bit more difficult. Ward 7 is interesting. Ward 8 is Ward 8. Okay. I This looks so weird. Come on. And we defeated him. Like, I thought I was only the second hit. Am I good? Yeah, I might. Oh, that's... I hope the games go on Switch. I hope they do. That's kind of the reason I got a PS4 to play Madden. Games on Xbox. Yeah, like, I, for me, I buy Madden games once, like, I have 19, so it would be about three years. So I'm fine with that, John. Like, if you wait a couple of years, I'm, and I'm, I'm, I get why to just getting it, because the new one sounds like it's going to be good. Rock Candy Mines Dash 3, Waterlings Nest. Oh, this one. So Waterlings, we saw him in World War and he's like, Acorn people, or people that are these acorn animal enemies, and they try to fly at you. I do like this level because it's vertical. But yeah, I like that. Or like maybe Tyree Kill on the maybe Devonte out. What if it's like Devonte Adams and Joan Ramsey or Stefan Diggs and Joan Ramsey? That would be kind of neat. Or like. Josh out there, and I don't know, just new players, because we've already had Mahomes and Brady, that's kind of my big thing with it. No! Oh, so you... Wait, what the heck? Uh, I think I missed this up, everyone. I mean, Scott 20... Yeah, yeah, that's what I said, though. I mean, it does make sense to you, because you have Madden 20... No! Okay, we're just not doing well here. There's a star coin over here. Wasn't there? Okay, whatever. We got through Ward 7 fairly... We got through Ward 5 fairly simply. Ward 6 is going to give us some more troubles, it seems like, which I'm fine with. John, do you like the PS5? I just have no interest to get. I've told I am this, but I might sell my PS4. I just, I play Madden, that's about it. There's a couple games I play, but I like the Switch. I want to get a VR headset, because I, I love the idea of VR. There's a star coin over here. How do we get it? We fall down. And we go and get it. So yeah, the acorn suit really helps you know a lot in this game. But yeah, this is a pretty fun level. I like how you go up and down. It's neat. Whee! But 
but I love streaming here on the TGO. I legit like think it. I, you know, to quote to you to each your own with how they do content and both videos and streams have the pros and cons. But for me, since I don't have time to edit that much, I just like doing it. Like just streaming and you have that interaction. I like it. That's good. I'm glad you do, man. So I think I told you guys about this, but my plan is to get, um, do New Super Luigi U and do like a one day stream of it. Start out like eight or nine and like go till like, I don't know, till, hold on, can we do this? Hold on, I want to see something. Oh, we can't get the blue switch yet. All right, what's this other level? Rock. Candy mines. Light blocks. Dark tower. This level. Okay, so this one's kind of neat. You're in the dark, but the the things light up. So this one's kind of neat because you 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 have to be patient. You have to time it. Might do McGrumps night tomorrow night on um, oh, for velocity. That would be cool, John. I'm excited to see that one. So, to you, I do have a question for your baseball series. Who do the Phillies play next? Or do they keep going with the Pirates? I work about 1 to 5, but I should be able to see it, John. Alrighty. So, I like this one. The classic Mario Cave music. You have swoopers, cool bat enemies. So, Batman reminds me of Batman, which reminds me of comic books. John, have you seen Loki yet? Or Iron? Or did you? I have not seen it yet. I'm gonna wait till kind of the two episodes come out and binge it, but I've heard the latest episode was really good. I, I, I hope Loki people like it, because it's always good when Marvel does well. Okay, let's try to scale a pipe. Nope. Yeah, I'm, I haven't either. What? Uh, what? How? Um. Jeez. Okay, just spin. I love that was. A, I thought that was a pretty great reaction. Like, what? I'm like, what are you? I'm like, are we missing something? I was expecting to get like an acorn suit. They make you work for it here in Ward 6. Alrighty. Bad to jump in to see who we the me and the Phillies play. Jeez, okay. Oh, I remember this now. The bomb arms. You have to like. Oh no, this is gonna be tedious. This is gonna be tedious. Oh no. Go up. There's a bomb here. Is there a star coin above that? No. Don't no, be cool as if we did a like another group video on the uh, TGO and we all played Fall Guys. There's a star coin there. Fire meets fire and we win it. All right, that was a, there's a red pipe. That's a fine, nice level. I like the whole, you know, oh, that's cool because the red pipes is where the, oh, that's so neat. I love that detail. I love detail in Mario games. I'm just a sucker for little details and stuff like that. All righty. We clear that level. We still have a couple more levels to go. We have a tower and I think one or two more than the castle. The eight years for people to join. <laughs> oh no. I mean, like, it's four people. So, like, I have it. John has it. Iron, you have it. Edgar has it. We, the four of us played like a week or two ago. So, could happen. Walking prana plant. So, at the exclamation point. This one I remember being kind of fun. So you have these piranha plants. 
and they like come below you. Okay, we have Bubble Baby Yoshi, which we used a lot here. Okay. Uh, please? Move! Move! Is this something over here? Is this something? Hold on. Oh, you need a Koopa. You gotta... That's ridiculous. Okay. This is gonna be a long stream. I like the waterfall though. John, how many parts of Captain Toad do you have left? So, Bubble Baby Yoshi kinda helps you because you, you know, you can get the pawn plants, but don't kill the Koopa. Hold on, let me try something wild. I want to try something real quick. I'm not sure. Okay. Come over here. Come over here. Come on. Go! Go! Oh, did we get it? No, we didn't anyone to ice fall, but we get the star coin. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I pulled that off. And don't fall off. Oh my goodness. Wow. I'm like, is that possible? Did y'all see that? That was... I'm like... Now, the Koopa actually probably respawned in that area because the Prana Plants did, but... Oh, don't fall. Don't fall. Jeez, let's not be falling here, Mario. Let's just wait. I'm nervous now. I don't want to miss this, John. I'm going to be... I know John's going to laugh if I miss. I know. I'm going to be mad if I do. I thought I was jumping on the bricks, but I actually got the chain momentum. I didn't notice. Here's what I'm gonna do. Going back to Ward One, I'm getting an acorn suit. We're doing this for real. I right, go to Ward One. That was disappointing to say the least. John, how many more weeks of school do you have left? So I think once you're done, we should start hardcore. Okay, we just can get this here. Since we're over here in Acorn Plains, I'll at least show you guys kind of the exit, secret exit we got last episode toward five and how that goes. So you take the rainbow, you go with this rainbow, and then you go. Go to the pipes, go over to this palm tree area, some more pipes, and take this platform to Soda Jungle, and it takes you to the entrance of it, so. Today was my last day on nice, man. How, how did it go? So, do you guys want to start hardcore soon? I if you're still here. Are you on board for that? Alright, let's finish this here. That was disappointing. I know. Because, you know, I do have summer classes, but... Stuff is mostly done on the weekends, and I can space it out, so. I don't know about this weekend, because tomorrow I work. 
We could start Friday. I mean, I'll probably play Among Us Friday night. Saturday, I have stuff going on all day, and then Friday's Father's Day. Why don't we start the checkpoint? Oh, never start a new level. Oh, jeez. I'm going to have to do this again. I'm assuming anyone actually joins. Well, who would it be? Would it be me, Iron, John, Fries, Tommy? Like, Fries, I know it's Fries, but I feel like he is passionate about this. Oh, whatever. Wait, oh, is the Koopa still here? I love how, like, I played so good in this stream, and then the moment John joins, I just start not doing well. I'll wait for it. Fine. I feel like I might die first, John. I, I haven't played Minecraft in a hot second. And I don't know. I, I feel like that I might do something to mess up. The only thing I'm worried about in hardcore is, is that I feel like I I just don't want to accidentally, like, you know, get someone. And I feel like there might be a moment where, like, we accidentally kill someone. Which, if it does, then maybe that person should die too. And we missed a star coin? Where? Alright, well, whatever. This level's been... Tedious enough. No, not the one up. Like, for instance, like, if I accidentally push someone off, then I feel like maybe I should die too. I don't know, but then you could say, like, someone pushed me to have them die. You know, they didn't do it. I don't know. I wish you got, like, because if I accidentally, like, let's say. Let's use an example. Let's say Tommy joins. So let's say if I'm building something and Tommy and I are working on something and I like delete a brick to help build, but Tommy's accidentally on it and he dies. Should I get punished? Should I die as well? Like, I don't know. That's something to think about. I'm gonna try to get switched online today, nice man. Hope all goes well. So Rock Candy Mines Ash Tile Screw Tile Tile. This one's fun because we actually have a different boss. This level's pretty fun. It's hard, but it's fun. Oh, I remember this. This little outside thing. I love this. I think there's another secret exit here. I've had a lot of those today. So, yeah, who, who else would join? It's like me, Tommy, John Iron Fries. I feel like there's a six per. Fluffy Fluffy's pretty open. Sorry, I, I feel like things would go well. Okay, how... I remember this... Oh, that's cool. I remember this took me a while here. But yeah, so plans for this LP. Next week's gonna be World 7 and 8. It's gonna be pretty lengthy. But we're gonna try to do that. But that's not gonna be the finale. I know I said finale weird, but... And next week will be World 7 and 8. Probably be pretty lengthy. And then... Once we defeat the final boss next week, that is the plan, is the next up stream, I'll probably be doing a star coin and secret X and grind where I go, I have like a guidebook open, I basically just get all the secrets I've missed, and do a stream however long it may be, and then the next episode of War 9 in the finale, so probably three more weeks, so about halfway through, which I think is fair, and then, you know, my plan is to do like a new Super Mario Bros. We New Super Luigi U all day stream. Like, I don't know about even 100%, but just trying to complete it, because you can go through that game fast. And I, I remember Jacob did that, and the views were good with that one. But yeah, I feel like we should at least start hardcore soon. At least try to. Alright, we have another star point up here. Is this the second or third one? Okay, we got hit. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. But I like this tower. I like the background designs with the metal bars. I don't know. It's very challenging, but you do have to be careful. I also these sumo guys. So these, I think, appear in Super Mario World, but if not, they're new here. They're basically, whenever they stop, they send out an electric pulse, which can damage you. So be careful. But I like this level, the platforms and 
having to go throughout is, is pretty fun. Oh no. Go? We ran out, but at least we got up here. We're doing this with no power. Wish me luck, guys. Go? Go? Stop? Go? And. Boom! Oh, whoa! Dude, calm down. Shit. Oh, jeez, I thought I didn't get him. Okay, there's a star coin up top. You, there's secret bricks, and you have to jump on one. Tricky, but I remember this. So that's, that was a fun level. Just gotta be very tedious. You just gotta be patient. John, what do you like more, Switch or PS5? I'm interested to hear what you say. Alrighty. I'm gonna be doing some boss fights. So we actually don't have Boomin. We have a Sumer Bro, but now he's gonna be big. This boss fight's kind of hard because it's like the other ones. He has the electric stump. So you have to really, sounds like a dance, you have to really be careful for him. Just wait and make sure, just so what I would do is I'm going to stay here on the left. And whenever he comes, just hit him. Because if you try rushing over, the electric stomp is not good. He also will stun you with the stomp, so just be jumping whenever he does it. Uh, maybe he won't come over, but come on, come on, dude. And then you just jump on him. So I really like this boss fight. I wish... More of the bosses were like this and stuff. Boom Boom, just a unique boss to that area. Okay, come on. And... Done! Alright, that was pretty fun. I like that boss. I mean, probably Switch because the games are more vast. I'll play my PS5 a lot more than my Switch. What do you play on the PS5? Because one of the reasons I haven't gotten it is that... First of all, the money, but nothing just looks too engaging. But we get him... I think there's a secret in that level because this castle, as you guys can see, I'll show you momentarily, has like a secret back entrance with that spot. So I think it's in this tower because I think you hit it and you hit the red switch. Let's, yeah, I think it's here. I don't know where it's at. Let's try this again. If not, then okay, but I at least want to see where it's at because I have a feeling it's here. But yeah, I really like Rock Candy Mines. It kind of reminds me of Donkey Kong Country with the level layout, and it's definitely more unique. Mainly Rocket League Far Guys. I like For. I'm interested to hear what you think of Fortnite, John. Because I like parts of it I don't. I think the overall idea of space is neat. And I like a lot of the skins, like how Rick from Rick and Morty is in his like, famous... Like how he's in 2D, and I like some of the new guns. But sometimes, like, places like Slurpee Swamp and, like, the, uh, what is it called? The, the factory, that one. They just have too many UFOs sometimes. I don't know. It's sometimes a bit too much. I agree with you. I like, kind of, whenever you can, like, use, you, use a UFO. But, like, some places, like, the farm have, like, NPCs, and it's just way too much. Like, I'm not saying I want... Fortnite to be so simple, but I want to have some differences, but not too much, and I feel like last season with the Primal Rifle, it was like neat because it was different enough, but it was still like not too much, I feel like now it's way too much, plus you still have the wolves, I'm like that was last season, move on, so that's my thoughts on it, I know John, you said and originally you weren't the biggest fan, okay, Spider-Man was great as well. That's what I've heard. That was amazing. I got the PS5. Oh, that, okay. Yeah, I yeah, I love that game. I haven't played Miles Morales. Hagen played it. He liked it. There's too much going on. There is, man. What is going on here with the secret exit? I'll try, um... I'll try figuring this out before I look it up via YouTube. But I will do that if I don't find it. That's my thing. Try it at least. Hold on. So let's go up here. There's nothing here. I don't see anything weird. Oh my gosh. I really love the water season. Like when we saw the Aquaman castle. Hold on. Wait. 
I see coins. What's going on here? John, do you have the battle pass for this season? You need V V bucks. I just don't have it. Is there anything else? There's not. What the heck? Let me look this up real quick. What is this? Screw top tower something. I usually don't like to look it up, but I want to find a secret exit because it's kind of part of the fun here. So let's see. Rock, candy, mine, screw, tower, secret exit. Is there a secret exit here? Maybe there's not. I don't think there is. Okay, guys. There's no uh, secret exit here. Yeah, okay. Well, we just put that level again for no reason. Okay, well... I don't know. Hold on. How do you want that? Hold on. Hold on. Give me one moment. What if we hit this? Oh, you used a dinosaur. Okay, we already got it. Oh my goodness. So you go here, then you go up, and then you exit the. Okay, I see you, Nintendo. So let's do this next level. But yeah, John, I'm wondering if you're on the battle pass or not. I might buy the coins to get it. I don't know. It's kind of well-priced. Ten bucks, like a thousand. It's not too bad and looks neat. But this one, I don't remember at all. I'm sorry, guys, that for Rock Candy Mines, we haven't been talking as much about the levels and stuff. But I just don't have a big memory of them. And I'm kind of indifferent. Oh, this level. This one's... Oh, these. Yeah, okay. Very Donkey Kong Country like, which I'll talk about. So Donkey Kong Country 1 for the Super Nintendo. Nice game. It's a great introductory game to the series. Pretty fun one. 2, Diddy Kong's Quest. Because Kong Quest sounds like Kong Quest. It's a fun one. I like how you play as Diddy and Dixie. It's great. I love Donkey Kong Country 3. Dixie's Double Trouble with her and like Oh, that old Kong, but I like the original three. Three's my favorite. I actually did an LP of it on my old channel. You don't have it, gotcha. Um, but I love the third one. And then Returns on the Wii I like. I like Returns a lot. In my opinion, it's a great Nintendo platformer. I loved it as a kid. That game's kind of difficult. It's not, like, really hard, but it's can be. So I like Returns a lot. And then, Tropical Freeze, I was not a big fan of. I, I remember I was, like, really excited to get it. Because when I was younger, you know, I didn't really buy ga games. And my parents, I remember I was like, Dad, I want this. And he's like, are you sure? I'm like, yes. Like, I was excited for this game. I just remember not liking it as much. I don't know why. I mean, it's similar to Returns. I just felt like it was different. I didn't like the changes. But I know Andrew likes those games a lot. But yeah, I'm going to like the new Donkey Kong game. Yesterday when we were seeing the II reveal for E3, I thought it was a new Donkey Kong game. John, what did you think of E3? Because I haven't talked to you about it yet. I really liked it. I really like Nintendo. So I'm going to just say that here. Nothing like made me like so excited to the point where I was like screaming. But I liked a lot of the announcements. Metroid looks awesome. Super Mario Party... 2 looks pretty nice. Um, Wireware looks cool. Breath of the Wild 2 looks really neat. It was good, I thought. Yeah, like it was very well balanced. You know, I wasn't jumping up and up and down, but I was overall very happy with its presentation. Like, yeah, this looks like it'll be pretty cool. And I like how a lot of the games are coming out soon. It's not like 
Oh, fine, like, fine, like, oh, not next to, like, a lot of stuff is coming out soon, so, yeah. Yeah, I wish we got the second Smash Fire 2, man. I just, I thought we were gonna get, I thought we were gonna either be, I thought we were gonna begin or end with a Smash character. And when we got the guy from Tekken, which is really exciting, Sakurai's like Seymour June. I'm like, oh, well, they're probably gonna wait then. This is the last fighter, though, right? And also, did I miss this up somehow? Was there a Koopa I accidentally killed? If not, I have no idea how you're supposed to get this star coin. I think you're supposed to throw a Koopa at it. We'll come back for it. I'm interested to see the last fighter is. I feel like my opinion is... Because we were talking about this on the E3 podcast we did yesterday for the TGO. Is that Andrew's like, there's no big Christmas games coming out this year for a Switch. So I thought Nintendo in July or August is going to have a surprise direct that announced like Mario Kart 9 or a big title. And it'd be like, here's a second Smash DLC fire, which would be really cool in my opinion. So everyone, we're at the Castle Rock Candy Mines. It was a bit of a bumpy path, pun intended. What we're going to do here is we're actually going to access this castle through the secret exit because you have there's a star coin located there so let's see so you basically come down here hit the red switch and then you go up here and you exit the back way this is cool i think it was that way in super mario world but i love it love the details so here you go and now we have the castle with Roy Koopa. Love the ship, looks neat. So Roy's Conveyor Castle. So this starts out in the back entrance. So you actually have to go left. Uh, not do that. <laughs> when are we releasing it? Um, does anybody upload? Who uploads on the weekends? I forgot. So I know John's Monday, I'm Tuesday. Friday's Friday, right? So yeah, this is neat. So you start here at the backwards. So usually you have you have to go against it, but now you kind of go towards the momentum. So you gotta be careful. Yeah, this is neat. I love the gimmicks of these conveyors. And these fall down and presents itself nicely. There's a star coin, and you have to run and get it. Okay. So yeah, I really like this detail from Nintendo. That's why I like New Super Mario Bros. U more than Wii, the DS, and New Super Mario Bros. 2 is because of the little details in this game, like the secret exit. It's just adds to the game's fun uh, factor and kind of replay, you know. New Super Mario Bros. Wii, I am more nostalgia with, and it's a great game. But I just think U has a bit more secrets, and we're not going to get it. We are. So that's the last star coin, so that's how you access it. Wait for these to come down, get it, and the boss doors to the left. Jacob is saying Andrew is something, but they haven't uploaded in centuries. <laughs> so, I'm thinking I, we can maybe release in one of those two days, because weekends are usually people available. Um, I would say maybe Saturday? Or Sunday? I would say Saturday, so that way, because people are still talking about E3, so yeah, I would do Saturday. I like that idea. So let's get on one of these. So yeah, you take this, you ride a duck, and it takes you to the boss door. I love that. It's a shortcut, you you get the star coin, that's the only way to access the third one. And let's fight Roy Koopa. So if you're just going through this game in terms of trying to just finish it fast, this is a great shortcut, so we'll We'll see Roy Koopa again. I love that laugh. I love this background here in the air. I don't know if you can hear that wind. I love the gimmick of launching into the airships. But we have Roy Koopa, who's a very nice Koopa. He's not my favorite, but I love the design. Kind of the tough guy Koopa, the sunglasses, the pink and purple shell look really cool. He's usually the desert boss. He's now here in the... Warcord and he has a bullet bill blast. So this is a kind of an easy boss fight because he jumps around on these platforms. He does fire homing bullet bills on the last phase, but 
he's very easy to defeat if you can get after him fast. I like the gimmick, I just think it's sometimes a bit too easy. And he does that, and... Come on, Roy. And before, maybe, I don't know, I like Roy's design. If I had to rank them... Ooh, that's tough. Come on, Roy. Come on. And that's it. Saturday sounds good. Iggy's my favorite. I'll then go probably Roy, too. I like his design. His fights are fun. I would probably go... Larry 3. I know Larry's kind of the basic Koopaling, but I don't know. I like his design. I'll then probably go Lemmy 4th. I think the whole circus ball thing is neat, and the multicolored hair is neat. Um, I'll then probably go Morton. He's very similar to Roy, but a lot of his fights are fun in the games, and I like his design. I'll then... Probably go Ludwig than Wendy. I feel like Ludwig is, he's like, uh, kind of the mischievous Koopaling. Yeah, I like the blue hair, but I don't know. In my opinion, could have been a bit more unique. And then Wendy, yeah, it's cool that we get a female Koopaling, but she doesn't have that much of a personality. It's just, she has, like, rings and a boner. Maybe I'll put Wendy in front of Ludwig. So, yeah, I would say to rank them Iggy, Roy... Larry, Lemmy, Morton, Wendy, Ludwig. But now we go through the castle from the front, so we get the first star coin there. I love this castle. Ludwig's number one. Alright, I, I didn't see that. I don't know, it's hard to rank them, but they're cool characters. I think they're a bit overused. Like, yeah, it was cool to see them in New Super Mario Bros. Wii. I really like them in... Like, the, the 2D games, and they were great in Smash, that was, made me very happy. And then they were great in Mario Kart, but now they're kind of getting a bit overused. I hope, what I could see is for the Mario Bros. movie, is I could see them having celebrities voice the Koopalings. Like, them being in the movie, not for love, but them coming to comic reliefs and having celebrities voice them. Like, uh, for the Mario movie, I know I've talked about this a lot, and I apologize, but... I want Charles Martinet to at least do the characters he does. Bowser, a tough guy, and then I could see like the Toads and the Kooplings have being somebody voice actors as we miss another star coin. I guess we'll be finding Roy three times here. That's a very quick castle. I think it's how you hit the switch. But we've been going here for um, about almost two hours. We got through this faster than I thought. I do have to be somewhere at like six o'clock ish, so the stream went before then, but we'll go through some of these star coins. Not all of them, but just some of the ones we missed. Alright, Roy, we get to see you extra here. John, you were right that we didn't see the Mario movie at E3. That was just kind of hopeful thinking, to be honest. And I wanted to make a big prediction. To be kind of bold and it didn't really pan out but i don't know it's kind of fun so this is easy just follow the koopa shell because there's nothing like yeah you can fall but that's about it I, I will show you the third face so he does i think homing ball bills okay why well, okay <laughs> But it's been a fun stream. I was excited to do this, go through these two worlds, and it's been a lot of fun, so. Yeah, probably 30 more minutes or so. Alright, let's go through that again. I hope you guys are fans of Oi Kuba, because we're seeing him like three times in this stream. <laughs> okay. John, what. Velocity match, are you looking forward to most tomorrow? Is it up here? Oh, I f how do you get there though? Oh, we did, and there's nothing. Oh! 
do you have to jump up there? I, I remember, I kind of remember this, you know, like, there's kind of an area of pipes. That's why I thought it was here, and that's why I was looking for it. But yeah, I like these conveyor belts. It's a nice gimmick. Overall, I liked Ward 6. Um, I, I It's fun. It's definitely difficult. Like, Ward 5 I found to be kind of easy. I love the theming of Soda Jungle. But Rock Candy Mines definitely kind of ups the difficulty. It's not, you know, the easiest. I mean, it's pretty difficult. I do like the rock theme. The graphics are nice. I'm overall kind of indifferent to it. Is it a stranger's phrase? No. Okay, hold on. Is there something before here? Do I have to, like, use these? Like a vines? Next to the bridge. What bridge? This one? Okay. So one up. I think you're supposed to get up here. Oh, come on. Okay. Up here, maybe there's sometimes stuff. I'm back trying. That block, that was a one up. I think I'm... Nothing over here. I like the background there of the thing. Anything here? Alright, let me try this again. Mario just nonchalantly walks in it. Hey, Hagen, how's it going, man? I'm trying to find a star coin here for Ward 6. It's been a pretty nice stream. We completed two wards in this game, kind of, but... Alright, so... What I'm thinking is that it's over here somewhere, because you hit the P thing. What if we don't hit it? We kind of have to. Okay. And... This is driving me nuts. Man, yeah, hanging. How's it? How's it hanging? Is uh, the Spider-Man show better? I'm gonna see where the star coins are. This is driving me nuts. We're also talking about E3, which I will say, hey, you know, they make me very happy. Um, oh! I know what's that. You were right, John. Okay. We have to start the level over. Hold on. But yeah, I mean, I'll do a video on it, but I'll talk about E3. So, we got Metroid. Okay, hold on, just... Made me happy. I'm not the biggest Metroid fan, but the game looked great. I love the atmosphere. Does feel good to be right. But, yeah, the atmosphere of Metroid Dread looks awesome. And one thing I loved about this E3 was the fact that they um, were paying attention to old properties like Metroid and Mario Party and WarioWare. I'll say that more in my video, but that was my favorite thing about it, is just that old stuff got some love that we haven't seen, you know, in 
a while. So yeah, Mario Party looks neat. I wish we got more boards, but five is good. WarioWare looks neat. Looks like a really fun game. Uh, Wario's kind of like a popular character. So that was cool. I'm excited about the Smash character, voice crack there. I don't play Tekken, but the idea of like Tekken being in Smash is awesome. And it, it, it's cool, and the fire looks cool. So yeah, you jump up here, John, which I think is what you said. Get this, and we'll fight Roy for the third time on the stream today. So we've got all the star coins here. We beat that. All right, we'll just finish this level here, gentlemen, and not mess up. Knowing me, I probably will, but I'm just being optimistic. Five. Ooh, got that. Yeah, hey, what, what did you think of E3? I know you talked about Metroid last night. But you didn't say anything in Smash. We didn't say that much else. Like, I, I like the Smash character. I wasn't... There were rumors that I was going to be Doom Guy, which I thought I was first at him because kind of the landscape looked kind of hellish. And I'm like, oh no. And I'm like, yeah, Doom Guy would have been cool, but I don't know. I would have like, I'm like, okay. And I'm like, oh, that's cool. Someone from Tekken, so... It's kind of like my thing with Sephiroth. Like, when we got Sephiroth... I was excited because it's a cool series, but I'm not like screaming about it. I mean, it wasn't Crash, but oh well. I will fight Roy here for the third time and get these Star Coins. But yeah, I thought that E3 overall looked. I thought Nintendo won it. I thought overall E3 was neat this year. I, I there wasn't anything too mind blowing for me, but it's just good to have it. Someone tweeted out, I, I forgot who, I just saw this while browsing, like, we could not have had E3 this year. And I kind of agree, it's just nice to have it. And, I'm actually mistaken, Nintendo did not win, Verizon won E3, but Nintendo got a close second. But in all honesty, I liked what they showed off. The new Shin Megami Tensei game looks really awesome, so, I'm just excited to, you know, have some games to look forward to and that was easy for a third time we have Roy so been a long stream but we're gonna keep going um we've officially hit two hours which I don't know how long the other new Super Mario Bros. U parts are old, so we'll save Ward 7 but we do have some places to go so first of all do I want to get the start coins now and do some challenges? How are we doing here for World 6? We're missing a lot. We Okay, Solar Jungle, we're missing a couple. We're missing the Ghost House. Actually, we'll save these. We'll, we'll, we'll do some challenges. I'm so excited for the Metroid game, even though I'm not a big Metroid fan. Same. The Smash reveal is the most boring part of the show. And Breath of the Wild 2 looks great. I hate to be that guy. Also, go with me. I don't have the me on here, but I feel like this looks kind of like me, so... We'll just do some of these mini challenges. And we got some new challenges, so yeah. Alright, what's this one here? Marathon Glide. Use a flying score powers to reach the goal without touching saw and ground. Let's do it. So, Breath of the Wild 2 looks good. I'll probably say this in my video. Doesn't this look like me? I feel like it does, but... Like, I'm getting Mario Galaxy 2 vibes. Like, Mario Galaxy 2 is very much identical to Mario Galaxy 1. But they just added a couple of new things, and it's still great. And I feel like that's how Breath of the Wild 2 is going to be. It's going to be similar to the first one, but people really like the first one. They love it, so... I don't have an issue with that. Um, I do like the idea how you can go in the air, and that looks great. The trailer kind of reminded me of a movie, it was epic, so I'm also glad that they got the Zelda WarioWare. I feel like uh, Hagen Isaac's going to get that, because he like loves that, like that red show stuff. And I like 
the the no the game and watch. Why did I say warrior? Word? This is all like game and watch. So yeah, we have these challenges here. In the game, you can do for fun. Come on, Goomba. There we go. Got Mr. Koopa. How long is this? Dang. I think I'm coming up on the end. Did I mess this up? No, please! Oh, jeez! We're almost there. Koopa. Another one. And we are done as Hagen's playing Breath of the Wild. I enjoy Hagen. You need to play Breath of the Wild. I do have it. And I did live stream on my channel a couple months ago. It looks pretty different, to be honest, minus. I thought the powers they had were in the previous games. I don't know. We'll see. So, like, I got Breath of the Wild when I got... I'll also answer your question, Hagen. Money? Yeah, all right. Be gentle to join. So when we're doing this other one here, you cannot damage enemies. Oh. <laughs> I got, boom. Um, well, yeah, I got Breath of the Wild 2 when Super Mario 3D World Bowser's Fury came out. And I played Bowser's Fury a lot because Mario, Edgar, and I keep more recording and playing with it. And then I streamed Breath of the Wild 2 one time. I think Hagen now is like, well, you just starting your job then, so you couldn't attend. And then I got really busy, because there's a time where I didn't upload or play that many Switch games for a while, and that was just kind of part of it. They were different, there was no power. Food Force? I didn't see it. I don't know. I might have to rewatch the trailer. I, it looks neat. But like, like I said, Mario Galaxy 2 had new power-ups, so... I don't mean that as a diss, I'm just saying it. It, it looks pretty neat. Hey, I think you would like New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe. The story mode is Mario, it's not too hard, not too easy. And you have some challenges that I'm doing here. Well, the thing with Mario Party, to answer your question as well, Hagen, is that it's not just the boards, they're adding the mini games as well. So it's not just the boards, they're adding the OG mini games. I don't know how you can clear this perfectly. I don't know how you can even clear this. This might take me a couple tries. Yeah, I bet. Yeah, it is a fun game. Come on. Come on. Come on. Who do you guys went the, as the last Smash DLC character? I'm interested to hear what y'all say. Hey, I remember you saying you wanted dry bones in the game, which is a, it's an interesting prediction. Let's see, it's 5.35, alrighty. What's going on in the NBA playoffs? Who's playing right now? Philly is leading Atlanta John, so it looks like 76 is a bike on track. Bowser's airship sneak. Reach the goal without hurting any enemies, touching any cannonballs, or collecting any coins. I'm going to do this one. So here's a challenge. Larry's groundless battle. Defeat Larry Cooper without touching the ground. Fortnite guy Spyro. I would love Spyro hanging or Crash. Either would be great. Um, how? What? Oh, are you supposed to wall jump? Oh, they were? I didn't know. I thought Atlanta was leading the whole time. I didn't know. MB just needs to hit those layups. Oh my goodness, this is not gonna be easy. Okay. We'll also change the color here of the LEDs. We have white, a little blue, as you all can see. Hagen, you should get these LEDs, that'll be neat. Fortnite guy, I don't know. Hagen, what do you think of Fortnite guy in Smash? 
here's the thing, John. Here's kind of my quote unquote. What? What? I would like it. I would like him in the game. I would. It's just though, as the last character we get, I feel like it's like, oh, Fortnite, you know? Oh, jeez, this is gonna be hard. Alright, let's go to another challenge. Like, yeah, Fortnite's great, it's a fun game, but I feel like, I don't know. That would be, it would be a fun character to use. I, I don't have to think about it. I know people wouldn't like that, but based off the OG guns, uh, that actually could be cool. You could have different skins. That could actually be really neat. Yeah, like, you, you would have a gun. Oh, yeah, okay, then these challenges are hard. I'm not sure, yeah, I'd agree. The Musa would be really interesting. Like, he could probably build. It would be kind of like Steve, because we talked about this before, John. Poison Swamp Scramble. Reach to go in 80 seconds or less. All right. I'd love to see Chell. Oh, I heard, I saw Taco Bell, I was like, what the heck? Taco Bell? I'm like, what? All the weed gamers would be clean. <laughs> oh, I found it. Yeah, I don't know. I, I would, I would be like cool, but it would be like for the last character. I don't know, I would be very, I would like it. The thing about Fortnite 2, is that, I don't know, it's like, it's only popular now. Smash is like gaming history. So, you know, I'll show you guys. Here's my playtime if y'all are wondering with games. Like, New Super Mario Bros. I play this game for actually 30 hours, it's pretty fun. Fortnite, I mean, I play Fortnite a lot. I like the game. It's fun, but is it gonna be re relevant? I don't know. Yeah, I would like, I would love a me skin, John. That would be perfect for the gunner. I would like that. That would be good. Like, how Assassin's Creed was a me skin. Like, yeah, Assassin's Creed and Fortnite are popular, but are they popular enough to be smashed? Fine, I don't know. Shell from Portal would be interesting here. Who makes Shell? Well, when he he's part of Nintendo's history. I see what you mean. I will say this, Fortnite guy, if he does get revealed, Jonesy, it could be a really fun move, so I do trust Sakurai, so if he's revealed, I wouldn't be angry, like, some people will legit be mad, I would be like, okay, that's, you know, neat, is it my preferred preference, no, but, going into Smash 4 on the Wii U, I wanted Bowser Jr., Pac-Man, Banjo, Kazooie, we got Bowser Jr. and Pac-Man, in the Wii U version, and we got Banjo Kazooie in this version. So I, the characters I want, I'm happy with. Yes, I would like Crash, but if we don't get him, that's fine. Dang, that's hard. Who owns Valve, though? What if it's one Luigi? I. Here's the deal. Bay we already have Bayonetta. I see what you mean though. That is true. If we got Waluigi, he I uh, here's my I wanna know what you guys think of this. So I feel like that the last character we get it's gonna be a character that's surprising. I've always thought this because Sakurai loves the fans. I know you guys remember when that one Final Emblem character got revealed, they made a joke about, like, there being too many fights. Like, they're aware of the community. And they did that thing for Smash 4 where you could write in a character you wanted to see, and they've, like... I don't know, like, I feel like Nintendo's kind of self-aware. So I could see Luigi being the final character, almost as, like, a thank you fans. I would actually kind of like that. I don't know. And I feel like Luigi is not a terrible character. Yeah, it's Waluigi, he doesn't have any games, but 
to have him be in there, I think would be a thank you for the fans. And I honestly wouldn't really... I don't know. I wouldn't hate that. I don't know what you guys think. I, I think hey, I'll talk to you about it. I know you're not the biggest fan of it. I would feel like Waluigi, like, cool. You know, that's nice that they did that for the fans. Shows that they care. Type of thing. He's, he's like, okay. And I feel like Waluigi could have a cool moveset. But what I could see Nintendo doing is having the last character start out as, like, Waluigi and it's like a fake out. I don't know. There's a lot of ways they could go with the last character. I just hope it's someone exciting. Fortnite guy would be... Like, wow, they have Fortnite and Smash. Like, that would be, like, exciting. There's actually a custom Smash Bros. mod. I want to use your full custom moves, and it's cool. Is it Super Smash Flash 2? Like, it would be nice. Yeah, I would agree. Like, one of the I feel like, would be, like, kind of like an Easter egg for the fans. I think this could be the last game, then the last Smash game that Sakurai develops. I think we'll have more Smash games. I don't know if just Sakurai would be the guy. Kind of like Steve, yeah. I like Steve in the game. I still do. I know some people don't, but I do like him in the game. No, it's a Walmart. Okay. Um, what else can we do here? I got a bomb on. Let's, let's try this Larry thing again. I want to try this. Okay. So let's start out here. He... <sighs> this is hard. Steve is... Yeah, I like Steve. Steve, I like Steve. I love Steve. I'm a DLC character. like, I love Steve. Terry was like, yeah, okay. That's neat. Not my character, but I'm happy for those who like the character of Terry. Sephiroth, I was like, oh, okay, I've heard Sephiroth. He's, you know, kind of neat. Banjo, I love. I'm forgetting others, but... I mean, with the Smash DLC, I've all, I've all been happy. And we're done! Alright, so you just have to time after water. I don't get people... I don't get how people can try to claim he shouldn't be in and when he's more well than 8% of the characters in the game. I agree. I agree. Hagen, what do you think of Steve in the game? I like Steve in the game. I love the moveset. So, we're going to try this one. You cannot touch anything. This is hard. I, because this was on the Wii U. But this is... Yeah. That's the one thing about this game though. It is similar to the Wii U version. But I like to play on my Switch. Oh, I forgot you can't touch enemies. Okay, that, that includes... Okay. Can't touch cannonballs. Like, people are like, oh, you know, this game is a waste because I'm Wii U. Like, once I'm done with a console, I'm done with it. My Wii U, I don't play anymore. My Wii, I only play new on it. So, I like remastered games. I get why people don't like them. But, yeah. Oh, jeez. Who else did people not like? Jeez, we made that. Okay. So, so far, oh, this section. Okay. What's the best way to do this? What if we take the top round? Doesn't work. Doesn't work. Doesn't work. Hagen, where do you stand on getting the PS5? Like, I know, I know, you haven't talked about it, but like, do you want one? Do you not? Alrighty. I'm getting low on phone battery, so I'll try this a couple more times. So next stream, hopefully should be... I don't know my work schedule for next week, but... I work tomorrow, so I should know. If I work Tuesday, then no stream Tuesday. I'll do Wednesday, and I, I'll double check with I'm though. And if I don't if I don't work Tuesday, then stream will be Tuesday. So next Tuesday we're doing World Seven and Eight. I kind of like this afternoon time. I was gonna start today. Oh no, we had momentum. I was gonna start earlier today, but I kind of like the late time. So World Seven and Eight next week, and then 
The next stream will be kind of get the star coins, get the secret exits, kind of a grind stream, and then the next stream will be or nine. So, three more streams, everyone, and then I want to do a full day new Super Luigi U stream. So, what my plan for that would be is to like start streaming like 10 a.m. or 9:30 stream, and then like stream legit all day. It would have to be a day where I don't have anything. I would like order food like DoorDash and then like mute the stream whenever I'm eating, take breaks and stuff. Cause I've never done a full day stream. I've never done it. The longest day was three, four hours, but I've never done a full day. So it'd probably be like 10 to four o'clock. Just we have to make sure a day where I don't have anything going on, which I know it's kind of hard to do with summer classes, but All right, what do you guys think of that? Will you be interested in seeing that? I feel like that could be cool if done well, because Nusa Luigi use a pretty quick game. But Jacob did that, right, John? He like completed a game in like one day. Or not his day, he can it was like a Gundam game. How are you supposed to what? How are you supposed to not get Oh, you're supposed to jump over that. Jeez. Okay. They do not make this easy. Maybe? I think maybe to the idea that Jacob did. Okay. Also, John, Andrew the other day told me that you guys are now doing themes uh, for survival like Nintendo properties. Because he was saying that you guys kind of like ran out of like smash ideas so you guys are just doing stuff based on nintendo properties which is cool i i, I like that idea like metroid he say you guys did kirby or something and that would be neat i would like to go to another season of survivor i don't know when i'll be available but my thing is i just play to have fun i'm not very good at it but it's something that i legit have fun with so andrew said this season is new people Alright, I'm interested to hear, why don't you like Steven Smash? I want to hear your reasoning. Do it? I thought he did it like four months ago, like Gundam thing. Do you, know, do you guys know what I'm talking about? This is Jacob. I hope everything with Jacob's okay. I get how college can be busy, I understand, so. But I can stream now. Alrighty, I just want to try these challenges. Cringe. What are you referencing? Oh, Steve. I can kind of see that, yeah. I'm not like Steve, I can get how. Yeah, that's it, thank you. I'm oh like, it was guns something. Yes, he did do Gunstar Heroes, yeah. Alrighty, 50 second. oh jeez. Oh, oh my god, we could still clutch this out. Oh, we're not, okay. Alright everyone, let's do one more. I want to end on a good note here. This has been a fantastic stream, probably the best stream of this series. The first up stream was pretty great. And last... Um, episode was a bit shaky, but this has been a fantastic stream. I appreciate you all coming here. We've had Taju, Iron, John Hagen. Uh, next week will be a pretty fun one. Hopefully. We'll see how long it is. Because I thought this stream was going to be... Like, I thought we would just be finishing, like, the castle now. But we, I had time to do some stuff for the challenges. But yeah, Ward 7, I do like, Ward 8, we'll see. Let me just, uh, what, I'll see, I, we'll try this one, this one's pretty neat. But and I like yesterday for the podcast, how we just did it, like, we got people and we did it. I think we need to do, this is my thing with TGL collabs, it's great when it's all of us, I, 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 I agree with that. But I think, as long as we do a collab with three or more people, you know, it's good. And... You know, 
it was great. I thought we all did great, so. Oh, okay, can I make it to 15 seconds? I can! Uh, I'm trying to get silver and gold here. The me and Mario's outfit looks kind of cute, but it's also kind of freaky. Um. John, I still think you should do something where, like, during a season of Survivor, you record it. And then, like, upload about it after it's done, like, a TV show. Like, I would love that if you did that Survivor. Smell Survivor kind of thing, but... This one's hard. You just have to keep jumping back and forth. I want to see if I can get higher, though. Oh, uh, kind of... Actually, let's try another one. Let's see what else do we have. We have... Be Gentle to Germans. This one's hard on a try. It shows... I think we can get the mushroom, so that could help us with bigger jumps. This is a very patient level. What do you mean? Like, you would, like, record something. Like, when you, like, when you upload, like, survive, when the show uploads, it's uploaded after the stuff happens. You would just, like, record it and upload it after it's aired. You know? So that way, people like me, who didn't know who won last year, I don't know who told me, but that way you could watch to find out. It is an idea. The reason I say is like the survivor community community is like really big. Like there's a lot of people really into it. So you would have a really great audience. Like I remember when you uploaded like your survivor trail on your channel it did really well, so you would have the audience for it. I don't know though. I it, it would be interesting. Like you would record and be like, oh well this happened and like you and Angel could talk like, almost kinda like a show. And you could like record challenges. So yeah, the main key for- No, oh, what? Oh, okay. There's an I- Oh, man. We need a super mushroom, come on. Come on, me. If I pass this with a gold or silver, I'm then gonna end the stream. Okay, wait. I keep forgetting. We can touch coins. Jump here. Jump here. Sometimes you have to be patient. Sometimes you just have to go. Oh, man. This is hard. Oh, man. Okay. You could have waited for when the coupon went down. So this, you want to wait. And then when he steps down, we're good to go now. What do you guys think of the Nintendo theme park? I know it's not here in the US, but I've seen it, videos on the rise in Japan. It looks awesome. What is this series, if you don't mind me asking? Okay, what if we run and j No! What if we run and jump? I think it's funny how the challenges I'm doing are like unlock stuff that's related to War 5. Man, that was difficult. I don't know. I might, I should have just taken the hit there. Okay, come on, Goombas. Alrighty, guys. Let's try, oh, I just want to do well here before end of the stream. That, that's fine. What other ones do we have? I think we could do better than this. I got 17. So here, well, <laughs> you have time limit. So just bounce on the Goombas and maintain. Oh, okay, let's not do that one. What else is there? Um, let's try this Koopa one. A lot of the issues with the one-up stuff is that it's timed. But yeah, John, I, I I'm really excited for the wrestling series. And John, I, I know this might sound a bit. Weird, but I'm proud of you, man, for ending McGrumps when you did, ending it when you felt like it was time, and I love the wrestling stuff, it's really fun, I'm glad you can find a new series, it's, it's a really great series, and I like it, I'm glad that the show will be tomorrow. Yeah. 
It's just like we're at 50 seconds. You have to be careful here. Wait! Okay. You're great. What else could we do? What's my phone battery in? What twelve percent? Twelve percent. This one's really hard. This one I've tried. It's tedious. Um, the dry bone ones is great. It's just there's time, like. I know coin will like. Okay, I, I feel like we could do higher here. Come on, one thirty. Sub Lakitu? Like it I mean, I'm surprised they haven't made a Lego Lakitu yet. Like, legit surprised about that. Okay, we are kind of close. What the, okay, what I might just do is just fall and see if we can get some coins. Oh, okay. We only got one better. What's silver? 130. Okay, this is very doable, everyone. Come on, Mr. Lucky 2. Get them. Yeah, that didn't work. Um, should I just end the stream now? Oh, the time ones I'm bad at. Um, eighty or less. Let's try the poison one. This is a fire star one, but I'm gonna try it. Go. Hold on, let me try something. Can you get the power up here? See if we can get the acorn suit, that could really help. Alrighty, I think that's gonna do it everyone. We end on the jungle. Thank you all for watching and joining. For everyone who came today, it was great. Um, next time we'll be doing World 7 and 8 and, you know, finishing the story mode. And then after that will be Star Coins and Secrets. Thank you everyone. See you next Tuesday or Wednesday. This was a fantastic stream. And until then, take care. Have a great one. Thanks for being a great audience today in chat. I had a lot of fun. And see y'all next time for some more new Super Mario Bros. U. Take care. And have a great one.